Well, it's another beautiful Sunday night, and I got to tell you, another week of indoor arena football has passed, and we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, why don't we start with the AFL? Let's start there first. Obviously, the big, or rather, the big re-debut back on CVS Sports Network this weekend. Little fanfare, to be completely honest with you, um, and the games themselves, you know, at least one of them anyway, not help matters. I mean, Orlando, my goodness. Um, it's been having trouble filling up the arena all season long. And you could tell yet again on the broadcast that, yeah, not a lot of people were in Orlando. And I get it. It was a Friday night in July, but still. Post 4th of July, by the way. But still, yeah. Orlando proceeded to get the dog water beaten out of them anyway by the Nashville Cats, 62-32 in the other first-round game, nail-biter to the very, very end, 41-35. Salina gets the victory over Southwest Kansas. And I got to tell you, um, you know, the broadcast is pretty top-notch, you know, for the most part, you know. I you know a lot of people were excited. You know, Eric Wolf's back in the fold. You know, he taught AFL games back in the day, you know, back in the old AFL days on CBS Sports and after everything like that, and yada, yada, yada. You know, he got Muncie, um, you know, former coach, but, um, you know, he was kind of negative about some things, and I, and I kind of get it. He hates the four-point rule, which, I mean, I get it. I hate it, too. Uh, but, he does, but he didn't like the deuce, which, I mean – uh, it's the deuce. Come on. What, what do you mean, man? What do you mean you don't like the deuce? Mm -hmm. But it's neither here nor there. It's kind of just, you no, know, it's kind of just the thing that kind of happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that Southwest Kansas game is a lot. I get they were also criticizing, you know, the broadcast was also criticizing, you know, the. Southwest Kansas and Salina team, you know, mostly going shotgun and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I mean, it was a solid game. It was a solid game. Way better than the other first-round game. So Nashville gets to go to uh, Billings for some reason, which doesn't make any sense to me. And Salina gets to go up to Albany. Well, I'd rather have those flipped. But it is what it is. You can't, you can't do anything about it now. I mean, the, the, the first-round matchups were already messed up as it is. You know, you had the, the three taking on the five and then the four taking on the six. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, other than that, AFL did a solid job. You know, I know the humble thing didn't work out. Not really going to talk about that too much here. That Again, you know, it's kind of like the cafe deal. We all knew that that was kind of going to die if the IFL wasn't going to talk about it. Same thing with the humble thing. The AFL didn't even talk about it. So, I mean, there was no point in talking about it. So, the AFL's not going to talk about it. They're not going to say anything about it. Then there's nothing to say. So, yeah, humble severs their ties to the AFL. Who cares? Um, humble is not a good organization. We, we've established that. Uh, in the TAL, Pretty good game between Duluth and Ozarks. Um, didn't watch all of that game, but um, it was a pretty good game. AL2 championship game was not a good game. Like post, you know, like post midway through the second quarter, it was not a good game. Midway through the second, you know, once we got to midway through the second, you know, it was good until that point. Peach State put up a fight until the second quarter, and then hell broke loose from there, and Wheeling easily takes care of business the rest of the way. Um, IFL scores, honestly, you know, very big surprise. His first goal put up 81 against Duke City. Duke City still has never beaten the Frisco Fires. Never, ever, 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 ever. Northern Arizona wins via dropkick, you know, and a deuce. Crazy. They were down 40 to 15, 40 to 23 at one point, and they win with a deuce at the end. Crazy stuff. Arizona survives Tucson. I know, I know. It's not. It's, it hasn't been the best season for Billy Back and Company, but hey, 
still you still gotta try and Tucson, you know, they still fight each and every week, but I mean at at the same time it's like, you know, Tucson's like what two and eleven or something like that, two two and thirteen. San Antonio beat Massachusetts in a really good game, Quad City got by Sioux Falls in another really good game. San Diego beat Vegas. You know, not a really good game. That was one. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of these games this week were one point spreads. You know, at the end, of the, at the end of the game, you're at a one point victory. So one, you know, barely one possession victories. At the end of the day, you know, Bay Area hasn't quite clinched a uh, number one seed yet. As I need to take a look here real quick yet again and see what in the world, what the world, what a playoff scenario is like. Because uh, I know there was some, but I don't remember them all. Because, yeah, the, I mean, I'm me. But, I mean, this, this is a really, really interesting, you know, time as we, you know, get into it. Uh, there's also some stuff going out down in Colorado. Um, unpaid people out in Colorado. I do want to mention that. Um, Dave Moore and, you know, I know I've said, you know, something about him last um, weekend. You know, by the time I had made that video last weekend, he um, he had passed away. So um, hopefully, you know, he, you know, his family finds peace at the end of the day. You know, that's, that's the most important thing and everything like that. But yeah, there's some stuff going down in Colorado, unpaid, People again. I didn't put that in the ticker. Didn't think it was that important. Um, we'll see how Tony Thompson and company, you know, kind of handle that. You know, handles that situation. Hopefully, they get over that really quickly because you don't you don't want to be faced with legal troubles like this. You know, you know, it is what it is. But um, you gotta pay. You gotta pay up. So. And I believe somebody has clinched. Yes, San Diego has clinched. So the San Diego Strike Force have clinched a playoff spot. So yeah, I figured there was some. I figured there was something, but I forgot what it was. So yeah, San Diego has clinched the playoff spot. Um, since Northern Arizona and Arizona did not lose, Vegas has not clinched the playoff spot yet. Um, Massachusetts has not clinched the three seed yet. You know, San Antonio has been eliminated from playoff contention, unfortunately. Iowa's been eliminated, and Jacksonville's been eliminated. So all three of those teams are out of the playoff discussion. So when you look at the – I need to look at the standings again real quickly. So when you look again real quick, because I want to make sure I get everything right, um, so yeah, Tucson's out, Duke City's out, San Antonio should be out of the playoff discussion. And so who's left? It's Arizona, Northern Arizona, Vegas, and Bay Area. Or rather, well, Vegas, Arizona, and Northern Arizona fighting three teams, two spots. Um, Jacksonville's done, Iowa's done, and Sioux Falls is done. So really, it's Tulsa, Quad City, and that's really about it. Um, Massachusetts is more or less close to clinched, but not yet. Not quite yet. Um, again, because the IFL does the whole conference standings thing, you know, instead of you know going off you know the team's record, it is what it is. Can't really can't really do anything about that, can you? So, um, yeah, that's basically it for me. Um, I'm going to ensure that we get some lacrosse on the, the channel tomorrow and talk about that a little bit, you know. So I'd rather talk about lacrosse tomorrow instead of wait a little bit. So I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, and we'll get on your merry way, everybody. So um, with that all being said, Big Boy Sports is signing out, and – I'm hoping that, you know, I'm, I'm one thing that I am hoping up, up one, yeah, up one athletic showcase. I know y'all played against Wichita. I know y'all lost. I know we had some communication. I'm hoping that 
you know, I get that interview up at some point. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, get him on, how to get the guy on who runs that team so I can talk about, you know, how that, how this whole season for them, you know, in the Dallas Falcons a little bit too has gone. Um, trying to get, trying to think about, thinking about getting the Ozarks on, thinking about getting some Ozarks guys on here again. Because I know I did contact Ozarks in February, but I didn't follow up with them. So I might try and contact them again. I know they will. They may or may not watch. You know, I know Duluth, I know the Duluth guys do, and I may bring one of them back on at some point. Probably, probably during, you know, the, um, you know, during the um the um Arena Mania weekend or something like that. I forgot what they call it. I think it's Arena Mania that the TAL calls it. I, I look I, I keep up with too much stuff, so um, yeah, so I'm going to get on out y'all's hair, and I'm going to talk to y'all probably tomorrow. I'm probably going to do this tomorrow instead of doing it, you know, later, you know, doing it on the weekend with lacrosse and everything like that because there's some stuff we need to discuss and everything about lacrosse. So as usual, like, share, comment, subscribe, click on the notification bell, do whatever you need to do, and Let's get the subscribers up a little bit. We've been stuck at 286 for quite a little bit, so I need, I need, I need, uh, I need a little bit more support. You know what I'm saying? 